Okay, everybody. So we just bought this piece of property in Mexico. We? I can't believe it's ours. <laughs> okay, everybody. So we just built this resort in Mexico. I can't believe we did it. We did it. It's done. For those of you who don't know, we are Douglas and Esperanza. And we left our lives in the U.S. and came to Baja, Mexico to retire. And then we ended up building a resort in Loreto, Mexico. And we are finally done. We have guests down at the resort right now. And it's just incredible. Almost a year ago, we sat in this exact spot, exact chairs and exact shirts. <laughs> Your hair is different. Yeah, I couldn't have my hair down today, sorry. But we are just so excited and we want to show you guys everything that's happened. So we're going to take you back to the beginning and show you what start, how it started in 2022. Good morning, everybody. Well, I thought I would show you around one of these pieces of property that uh, we are looking at purchasing. And so uh, behind me, there is this uh, entry gate on this piece of property that we're looking at. There is the front of the property. This lot was partially developed. They got started, they built this beautiful wall and driveway gate and an entry gate. This lot's a pretty big lot, it's about an acre. And the wall actually comes around, you can kind of see it on each side a little bit. And on this side a little bit, it's got a little return here uh, down the side that's you know about 10 feet or so. There's power, water, and sewer at the road, so that's good, all the utilities are taken care of. So this is kind of the back section here. It's a nice lot, a nice area. And if we could get it in our price range, uh, we could build the house we want here. We were so lucky to find this property and that mm -hmm. the seller was willing to sell it for a price that we could afford. Yes, thank you, Bob. He was so nice, he let us start building and doing stuff on the property before we even owned it. Getting this uh, sewer pipe and the water pipe because we are trying to get this pipe in this ditch here before the uh, ditch collapses. The first step was to get all of the utilities back to the site where we were gonna put our trailer and our, build our shop. We did most of the work ourselves in the hot summer heat. And then that day finally came. Yes. <laughs> so we just bought this piece of property in Mexico. We, I can't believe it's ours. It's we really own, ours. We own this. It finally happened. Everything went through. We just signed the deed and I am shocked. So for those of you who don't know, haven't been watching since the beginning, you know, I'll give you a little recap. About nine months ago, 10 months ago, we sold our house in the US 
-hmm. We sold most of the, our items, the things that we own. We yes. bought a trailer, we bought a truck, and we loaded it up and headed down to Baja, Mexico. And yes. we have been uh, spending the last almost year traveling through Baja, Mexico, looking at all the towns. Mm -hmm. We found this awesome town of Loreto, Mexico in Baja, California, sir. Mm -hmm. And we decided this is where we wanted to stay. Yes. And we've been working on buying this piece of property if for the last four months mm -hmm. and we're just we've got one acre we're only about 200 feet from the beach on the other side of those palm trees and we are so excited because now the fun can really begin yes we want to build a a resort here mm -hmm. we want to build our house and maybe something else. We're going to do four little villas. They're going to be one bedroom, one bath, um, kitchen, full kitchen. Um, and those and are going then, to be down in back of us, uh, down here. Yeah. Uh, They'll be uh, in a row. Four and, of them. And, the, and then pl a pool. the plan is to have a pool, yes. a nice fire pit area. Yeah. Palapa. Just a really cozy, mm -hmm. luxurious, Yes. Uh, area that people can come and relax and unwind. Our goal is one day, maybe a year from now, maybe two years from now. At least two. <laughs> we're going to shoot this video with us sitting in front of our pool here. Our house is going to be right in, uh, in back of the camera. Yes. Now that the property was finally ours, it was time to kick it into gear and go full steam ahead with construction. We started with taking out the existing retaining wall and regrading the entire property. Then we brought in mature palm trees so that we can get them established during construction. This really transformed this bare piece of land into a beautiful oasis. But then we had a setback of our entire project. Yeah, this almost stopped us and mm -hmm. sent us home because it was that yeah. big. This is probably one of the most difficult videos we've made since we started. And we're almost a year into this thing. We got some not so great news for us uh, the other day. When we got the the initial quote for the garage we were a little concerned yeah um the garage quote was considerably more than we had thought it would be about 50 percent more than we actually i had budgeted we got the quote for the villas it was about one and a half times what we had budgeted and our budget was very, very tight. We went over all the finances again, every penny, to see are we gonna have enough. Uh, and I made an entire spreadsheet with uh, the build costs, estimated rental data, 
uh, uh, revenue, all this, and it's still not pretty, but I think we have a possible viable solution. It's gonna take a while to get to where we wanna go, but I think we have a way to get there. You look like you're gonna cry right now. It's okay. Huh? So the thing has just been an most emotional roller coaster up and down, buying the property, up and down, up and down. And you know, now we're at this point, we thought everything was great and everything would flow easily and just hit another down. So we were about we're about to give up. I mean we're like at the end of our thing. Um, you know what? A guy that's been here, he's kind of a old school Loretto guy from the US. He's been here for 30 or 40 years. Uh, and he's bought a lot of properties. He's built a lot here. He's done all this stuff. He told me, he said, if you give up, if you're the type of person that gives up, you might as well just leave right now because you aren't gonna make it here. We're not gonna give up. We're not gonna give up. We're looking at seven years till we can build our house. But we're going to build two villas complete and the pool because we want to get and we're going to have enough money for the infrastructure to put in nice grounds everything we're going to take these lemons and make some lemonade what do you think can i have a margarita instead well we're going to use a lemonade <laughs> to make some margaritas with well i guess we'll make limes and make limeade and then uh there you go. do the uh, make margaritas with that so <laughs> first two villas hopefully will be done towards the end of this year for the winter season, after recommitting to this new plan, we're ready to get back to work and make our dreams into a reality. We worked every day doing everything we could. I worked on the construction while Esperanza worked on sourcing everything we would need to finish out, decorate, and run our resort. Our hard work has paid off as everything started to come together better than we ever imagined. Hey Leo. Oh, it's beautiful. They're trying to save the forums, I assume, for the next villa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, those windows are gonna be awesome. Those are massive. And that's I love them. and that's one brick yeah. high one brick higher. Here they already took the extra brick out. Oh yeah. So they're gonna be one brick lower at the bottom of the window, like this one is. Mm -hmm. Yep, they got the, the base in, and then they're going to pour eight inches of concrete on top of that base. Wow. And that base is like three inches thick. And it's concrete, but it's mixed up in kind of a sludgy stuff. Now the two windows on the right, which are which are not as uh, tall, will be the same height as the window on the left. Just a quick look in here. So, show us the kitchen. And then you are in the living room. I am, and there's a big, yes. uh, be a bit nice big TV on here on this wall. Uh, these are all temporary supports. There won't be any posts in here. This is to hold the concrete roof up because they poured it. Mm -hmm. And and on the far wall will be the closet. 
and then the bed in the middle with the nightstands, and then the bathroom. Yeah. yeah. Everything's coming together. And then Esperanza can actually show us the pool. We will look at, get a bird's eye view of the pool. All right. Climbing up here. The concrete roof here on the villa. It's all done. They've got a little knee wall so that we can put the uh, air conditioner condensers up here and it will be all hidden. There is villa number one. We're almost up to the bond beam. And then a little peek of the pool over there. Here is the pool. And the pool is going to be five feet deep, so it's going to be up to about, about like here. While our construction crews worked on the villas, I worked on my own projects, like building and installing our new automatic driveway gate. Love it. Poor Doug, he wanted to see this so bad and he's caught off having to take care of something else, so at least he'll have the video. Here we go. Hopefully the pillars don't come down. Wow, the whole ground moved. <laughs> Just like it was supposed to. It's finally time for the grand finale. Esperanza and I are out here. I have the remote. And this is, I promise, this is the first time this gate has ever operated. It, oh, oh. oh, there's some rocks in it. We've been using oh. it. So. There it is, whoa, there it is, the gate. It's all done. Our builder was responsible for completing the shells on the villas, but then we did a lot of the inside finish work, like finished electrical, finished plumbing, finished carpentry, and of course, cabinets. It was the toughest part of the project, I can tell you, working 10 to 12 hours a day, seven days a week, in the stifling summer heat here. And our crew, which was amazing, those poor guys were out here every day in the summer. It was unbelievably hot, more than anyone can remember hot. And they kept doing the concrete flat work and they got it all done. They are making good progress. They've uh, made it about 
three quarters of the way around with the tile on the flat surface. And the bench here, they are uh, about halfway around the pool. Today is an awesome day. Monumental day again here at Puffer Fish Villas because there's water in the pool. We got our handrail totally installed and uh, seems pretty rock solid. That's really rock solid. Puffer Fish Villas at night. That is just incredible. We are so happy with how this turned out and we couldn't even believe it what this thing looked like in the night times after more than a year of hard work our resort finally was ready and we had our first guests it turned out so much better than we could have even imagined show us around here esperanza right. we've got it all cleaned up esperanza has everything all set out here like we uh want it set up We've got everything you need to cook, pots and pans, dishes, plates, bowls. Living room is all set up here. With games, puzzle. Yep. Definitely. Some other interesting stuff. We've got the bedroom and it's just beautiful. Esperanza has these bedrooms set up. Perfect. And uh, uh, we've got, of course, AC in here, but we've got the lights under the bed. Let me show you that. Here, so I'll, I'll turn off the main light and then I'll turn on the lights under the bed. So it's like a night light. There's like a cool night light under the bed and it turns off over there too at the, at the bed. You have a TV in here also, hooked up to internet, smart TV. We've got uh, your desk here with the power station, light, all that stuff that you need. We've got storage down here. You've got an iron, you've got an ironing board, uh, a bag so you can take stuff to the beach or to the pool. Extra blanket. Extra blanket. We have a laptop sized security safe. It's bolted in. Uh, you can use a, the code like regular or you can actually take any card with a stripe you have on here use that to uh, code it to the safe and then that will open the safe uh, in here in the uh, bathroom we've got towels esperanza even got black towels for uh, uh, people to take their makeup off and do that uh, we've got beach towels in here the blue and white are for the beach and we've got hand soap and uh, hand lotion uh, everything you need, all the paper and everything. The shower is all set up. We got body wash, conditioner, and shampoo in there. During this process, we have had so many ups and downs, and we've probably worked harder than we ever have in our entire lives. Yes, I went from working in an office chair for 10 mm -hmm. hours a day at a computer to working outside uh, doing hard physical labor seven days a week in 100 degree heat so you know but honestly it's turned out I'm happier and healthier I think than I've ever been mm -hmm. in my entire life and the sense of accomplishment that we have when we see this place that we've built much of it with our own two hands is just indescribable we welcomed our first official guests at Pufferfish Villas on November 11th, 2023. And the crazy thing is this is exactly 14 months from the first day we started this. They started work here on the property. Yes. <laughs> and we continue to make improvements. Like we just got two bicycles and we hope to get more. They're free for our guests to use. Mexico is an incredible place with welcoming people and that Loreto is a little magical town here in Mexico and we tried to capture a little bit of that magic here in the design and everything we've done here at Pufferfish Villas. We believe we have a truly unique place here in Loreto where you can come to relax and unwind 
and we think that you are going to enjoy it as much as we do. So the next time you visit Loretto, Baja Sur, California, make sure you come visit Pufferfish Villas and learn to live, live before, before you, you die. die.